Hi there. Now, in a previous video, I showed you that if we had integrals of this form or this form here, that the answers came down to these two inverse trig functions. Remember, a was a constant. Now, what I want to show you in this video is that in this first example and this last one here, we can reduce these two into something like this. And then this one here with the square root in can be reduced to this particular form. Now, when you get an integral like this one or the one down here, the first thing I'd want to check is does the denominator factorize? Because if it did, we could reduce this down to partial fractions type. But if you look carefully, it doesn't factorize. But by completing the square on these expressions here, and the same with this one in the square root, what we can do is change them into this form. So what I'll do is I'll show you this first one, and you might like to then go on and try these other two. This last one here is a bit harder, okay? Anyway, so the denominator doesn't factorize, so what I'm going to do then is say that this is the same as 1 over, and we complete the square in the denominator here. So in the usual way, we'll have a bracket, okay, put a squared on the outside, have an x there, and halve the coefficient of x here, which is 6. So that gives us 3. Squaring this out gives us x squared plus 6x plus 9. All I need is a further 16 to bring that up to 25. So there's our integral. Now, this has got exactly the same form as what we have here. The a squared is the 16, and the x squared is now replaced with x plus 3, all squared. And what we have here then is that a becomes 4 and in place of x then we've just got x plus 3. So we end up with a quarter, 1 over a there, inverse tan of x plus 3 over 4. Okay, plus that constant of integration. Some of you might want to make a substitution at this point here. If you did, it would be, say, u equals x plus 3. So all that happens is you end up with the integral of 1 over u squared plus 16, or 16 plus u squared, du. Okay, so you end up then with 1 over a inverse tan of u over a plus c, u being the x plus 3. Okay, so let's take this next one here. So with this one, what I want to do is complete the square on 8x minus x squared minus 7. So doing that then gives us this. What you'll notice is I've taken the first two terms here, pulled out negative 1, and in the bracket we get 8x squared minus 8x and then the minus 7 on the end. Complete the square with x squared minus 8x, gives me this, and then expanding out the bracket, grouping out with a minus 7, gives me 9 minus all of x minus 4 squared. So if I write that in, in place of this denominator here, then what I get is this integral. And hopefully you can see that this now has this particular form. a squared corresponds to 9, so a is clearly going to be 3, and x minus 4 corresponds with the x here. You could use substitution at this point if you want, let u equal x minus 4, all you're going to get is 1 over the root of 9 minus u squared du. So when it comes to integrating this then, what we're going to get is inverse sine then of x minus 4 over 3 plus c using this result here. Okay, so the last one here is a little harder than the first one up here because of this two here. But in the usual way, what we do is we complete the square 
for the denominator. So completing the square, you should have something like this. I've pulled out 2 over the first two terms, leaving me with x squared minus 2x here. Complete the square on x squared minus 2x gives me x minus 1 all squared minus 1 in here. And then expanding the bracket, we end up with two lots of x minus 1 all squared plus 9. So if I write this in then as the integral, we end up with 1 over 9 plus 2 lots of x minus 1 all squared. And at this point, you might want to make a substitution. The substitution would be u equals root 2 times x minus 1. And if you do that, then you can see that du dx would equal root 2, so dx would be du over root 2. And so this integral here would reduce down to 1 over root 2, integral of 1 over 9 plus u squared, integrated with respect to u. So if you integrate this, then you're going to get 1 over 3 inverse tan of u over 3 plus c. And coupled with the 1 over root 2 at the front here, and substituting back for u, then you should find you get this answer. So I hope this gives you some idea then on how we can use completing the square to change these types of integrals then into these particular forms.